So yesterday was a bit chaotic. Um, hoping for a better day today. Uh, we do have quite a full day. So um, we're about to head down and have breakfast, which will be good. Um, and then we have a walking tour um, that we're going to be doing through Central Florence. Um, I think it'll be really lovely. The weather is really nice today. Um, it's a little bit overcast, but it it's in the 50s right now and it's supposed to get up into the 70s so that'll be nice and there's actually not a lot of rain in the forecast which is kind of unusual this time of year for Florence so um, super excited about that so we're gonna go for um, this tour and then we're going to an artist studio we're going to visit a sculptor's studio and I'm super excited about this I love artist studios so um, really, really, really looking forward to that. Um, after that, my friend Anne Marie is coming in from London, so I'm thrilled to be able to spend some time with her here in Florence. And um, I think she'll be arriving around 4 p.m. So we'll head back to the hotel, meet up with Anne Marie, hang out for a bit, and then Anne Marie and Katie, brave souls, are going to go and climb. Giotto's Bell Tower, which is part of the Duomo, the main cathedral complex. They're going to climb up to the top of the bell tower, which has um, amazing views of Florence and the surrounding hills. So they will go do that. I will be coming back to the hotel to get some work done. Um, and then after that, we'll reconnect and probably um, go to Aperitivo. And I'll kind of explain Aperitivo later, but it's basically just... Um, you know, you get a glass of wine and some snacks and it's sort of um, an Italian tradition to kind of whet the appetite before you actually go out to dinner. So we will probably have a petitivo and then we have um, reservations at 8.30 for dinner. So it's a very packed day, but um, I am excited to be here and um, just really looking forward to spending some time in this beautiful city, so I will definitely be taking you along. See you soon. Hello, so we are headed to dinner. 
um, and I'm looking forward to it. Anne Marie is here from London. So the three of us are going to head out to dinner at a place called Borgo, which is um, kind of near the hotel that we're staying at. So hopefully it's delicious. If I can film, I will and see you later. Well, hello. Um, so reporting back after dinner, we went to this tiny restaurant um, in an area called San Frediano. Um, I didn't really feel comfortable filming there, um, but it was really cool because we got to talk extensively with the chef. We actually were the only people in the restaurant and the food was amazing. So I had orecchiette, which is, it actually literally translates to tiny ears, um, but it's a type of pasta. And um, at this restaurant, it was with a kale pesto. So a little bit unusual, but it was absolutely delicious. And then um, we had salad and then tiramisu, um, which is obviously a very um, Italian dessert to have. Um, so yeah, it was a lovely dinner. Um, once again, um, it's very late. Uh, I didn't mention this in the previous video, but Italians tend to, compared to Americans, tend to eat dinner very late. So it's not unusual for dinner to start, um, at nine, even 10 o'clock at night. So we had 8.30 reservations, um, and it is now... Let's see what time it is. It's a little bit after midnight and we got back to the hotel uh, not too long ago. So um, that's just something that you should know if you plan to come to Italy or if you plan to travel with Roman Gather to Italy. Um, just know that, that meals tend to be quite late um, and they tend to go for a long time. So um, yeah, so it was a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage from today and we have another fully packed schedule for tomorrow. Um, so I will see you then. Okay, bye.